Oh, I didn't see you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know it's been so long, seven months to be precise, since I've like actually like, not since I've filmed the video, because I feel like I've ha I have filmed videos, I just haven't like uploaded anything. I just like, yeah, it's been a while. I'm, I apologize, the break was, a really long break but I'm so happy to be back I came back to 5,000 subscribers like I was actually surprised because I checked my YouTube actively because I like to like see what people are commenting and reply I just like I just didn't have enough time to post a video um, but yeah I saw 5,000 subscribers and like I was like oh my channel is actually building up some views and some subscribers I was like mad so thank you hello if you're new hi I'm Virtue I was a fourth year civil engineering student at the University of Southampton now I have graduated look okay so this video was meant to be this video is meant to be like an update type video on like what I'm doing in my engineering degree also talk about my graduation look how nice this picture is can you see it? There's me, there's, okay. Well, I just, this picture's so cute, you know? Just a quick, like, little synopsis of, like, not my life, but, like, my channel for the new subscribers. Basically, I'm, I studied civil engineering, a master's degree at the University of Southampton. It was an integrated master's, so year one to four. I graduated this year in June. I'm so happy, and I graduated with a first. Like, I'm just so happy I, I got a first. Like, I've always wanted a first. I'm like, what's the point of, like, not wanting the best or, like, the highest? And so, like, I knew from first year that, like, yeah, no, I, I'm going to graduate with the first. There's no other option. So, yeah, I'm just grateful I graduated with the first. I put loads of effort into it. Um, in terms of, like, so, yeah, my graduation was in June. I um, Fourth year, I would say fourth year was really fun. Like, in third year, when I knew I had one more year, I was thinking, oh, I don't know, do I really want to do this last year? I don't really care to do this master's. Blah, 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 blah. There's pros and cons to doing a master's. It definitely helps in some aspects, especially if you want to become a chartered engineer. But then I was just like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling like going back into education again. Um, but I'm so glad I did because I feel like it shaped me as a person, opened my eyes to different, like, different fields in engineering that I didn't even touch. Like, I took two energy modules in fourth year. I thoroughly enjoyed them though, on my two highest scores. I got first in all my modules, but those two were the highest. And uh, it was just so interesting to know about like this like growing and changing um, industry. Um, but yeah, renewable energy and engineering. Is that what I took? And bioenergy. And then I also took structural engineering, project management and economics, and transport management and safety. And then I had a group design project, which was triple credits. So together it was like, um, together you're supposed to have like eight modules. One of them was three, that's why I only took five optional. But yeah, no, it was really interesting. Like um, project management and economics was a compulsory module. It was good that we had to do it because I've never seen that side of engineering, but my goodness, was it boring? No offense, it's just not my tea. Like we were doing cost benefit analysis on like these like two different railway schemes to see, Oh, yeah well that whole thing was just very long and very like tedious i wouldn't say hard it's quite repetitive the excel sheet was massive um the energy modules i already said i really I, as i already said i really enjoyed them obviously i took structural engineering just because you know when you start with something since first year you might as well just see it through like from first year you're always doing like structural or geotechnical engineering and like it's not compulsory to take it in fourth year but i was like why not i've done it and that was good the exam was hard but you know been there, done that. Um, transport management, that was an interesting one. Like I've always liked the transport side of civil engineering. I just think like it's like not neglected, but people don't really rate it as much. But I was, uh, in my gen opinion, I feel like people think the transport side is easy. And you know what? It can come across as easy if you compare it to the likes of geo and structural in terms of like the calculations because transport, I would say, is some of it is more contextual, whereas geo and structural is predominantly calculations and that's and that's why people think transport's easy but it's not easy because everyone has their strengths and weaknesses so like whatever that's what i have to say um and then what other i think i've named all my modules yeah oh and my group design project so my group design project i think i'll release a separate video for that because i think it's so interesting because i want to be like a, not advocate but i want to be like you should do something outside your comfort zone when i was picking this um topic i thought mad there's not really anything civil here like i chose virtual reality bicycle simulator yeah a bicycle is a mode of transport but besides that i haven't really covered anything there was a lot in there that wasn't related to civil in terms of like electronics um coding 
uh, manufacturing. I mean, we manufacture, but not as much as, you know, the, me the mechanical engineers at aerospace. And I was the only civil person in my group, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. My group design project, we got a first. It was really fun, like building this whole like VR simulator bike. So as you move, the world moves. And as you interact, you interact with the virtual reality, like, <sighs> don't get me started because we are so interesting um but yeah that was really good and then so yeah because of all those things 40 was really just a good year and i felt like it gave me one more year to like just not grow up but mature and re-figure out what i want to do which leads me on to my next topic what am i doing with my engineering degree if you didn't know engineering an engineering degree is quite a sought out degree just because it's so versatile you're such a well-rounded individual i personally think it's like the best degree you could possibly do the amount of things i've learned in that four years different many many different things the way it shapes you the, the lot of like soft skills soft skills hard skills anyways a lot of things you accumulate in those four years will make you suited for any degree, any profession. So I feel like I could have gone into anything with a civil engineering degree. Obviously, like, it is a vocational degree, so one would assume you do a civil engineering degree and you go into civil engineering. However, I did, I'm joking, I did. I'm a civil engineer, I, I, I have a, I'm on a graduate scheme, as I'm a graduate civil engineer, but out of all my friends, there were some of us who didn't go into engineering, so like, I would say like, hmm, what's, what percentage do I say? I would say like a good handful of us, when I say the majority, yeah, I would say the majority of us did go into engineering. Some went into structures, some went into geotechnicals, which is like the soil and the ground. Um, some went into contracting, some went contracting in transport, contracting in structures. Um, but then I would say there's also like a, not a large percentage, but there's a percentage of people who don't want to do engineering at all. So one of my friends went into tech, KPMG. My other friend went into EY as an auditor. And then one of my other friends went into materials engineering. It's like, with I feel like with an engineering degree, you could do any of those fields. Like there, there's no reason why you couldn't do auditing or project management or tech consulting. It just depends on what you want to do. I was just like, I did civil engineering, man. I studied it. What the hell would I not do? And like, I need to test out, try it out, and like figure out if this is for me. Like honestly, there's no, no one's tied you down to anything. I don't want. There's like this like misconception. You start something. Oh, you have to be in that field forever. But if civil engineering is not it, then you should know find another thing. Like you have a degree now. The world's legit. Your oyster, not to be cringe or anything but that's how i see it like i i'm on the graduate scheme and it's i'm a contractor so my first rotation is on site so i'm doing three years on the graduate scheme which i think is a little bit long but it's fine like i need the training or whatever three years but what i like about graduate schemes like they're created in a way that you have the most you get the most out of the experience like or um you they rotate you like every six to nine months in different like departments so first you do contracting then you do design then you do commercial then you do specialist because at the end of that three years you've covered way more than you would have done if you stayed in one place and it makes you a well-rounded individual it also aids into your chartership if you want to be charted anyways like i just think yeah you might as well just do it so yeah that's what i've been doing i feel like i rambled but i just i'm 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 happy to be back at youtube i feel like there's a lot i want to like tell especially like i saw some university content like it like um how i found like the whole uni experience whether civil engineers are worth it as a degree well obviously you know my answer yes but i'm going to do pros and cons and also like for how i'm finding like my job because working nine to five bro that's not easy that is not easy at all but yeah um i'm so glad you made it to the end i feel like this video is gonna be a little bit long but thank you so much and i'll see you next week oh my next video